You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. No. Watch out! Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his... I think he did it out of a... Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Sticking around for the attractions? I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along. And I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Uh-huh. How's the NCR gonna protect Vegas if it can't even protect its own president? Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. I stopped being Moreno's officer a long time ago. Everyone here respects me, but they don't need to follow my orders. Not anymore. They won. We didn't. It's as simple as that. The rest of us moved on while Moreno... 
didn't. Still, I'm not convinced Moreno hates the NCR as much as he thinks he does. You still might be able to talk him out of leaving. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. Hmm. Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. I honestly didn't expect you to say that. When I talked to you about Daisy and the others, you seemed to put a lot of value and loyalty to the past. What's changed since then? True enough, I suppose. Getting them back together must be worth more than me spraying plasma all over the dam. Back to Freeside it is. I need to make a stop before I settle in. I'll be back in a while. Thanks again for your help. It means a lot to me. Moreno's a stubborn son of a bitch, but he's also tougher than any of us. I'm glad you were able to talk her into staying. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. You'll need special training to use it properly, so talk to her as soon as you get the chance. The training might take several hours, so keep that in mind. Hey there! We'll be ready, don't worry. I appreciate you keeping Orion in the group. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. The NCR is the best bet for the Wasteland. I'm glad we'll be helping them out. I'd love to see the look on the NCR's face when I swoop down in my chopper. The NCR's got its share of wards, but I'd rather have them around than the Legion. NCR. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. I thought I might wear it at Hoover Dam, but after you talked me out of it, I didn't see the point in hanging on to it any longer. I'm here because of you, so I figured you're the one most deserving of it. It should protect you from everything short of a plasma caster. And if you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. It's the least I could do. All I ask is that you put it to good use. This place has lived in the shadow of Caesar for long enough. I may not be the one to help stop him here, but you are. Fortis fortuna adiuat. Good luck, and goodbye.